Greetings, this is Gintian, and look at all the armor. Well, anyway, today we are playing on Minecraft 1.19.3, and I am being distracted by things. How do I pick him up? I think you want to take him back to my other base. Wait a second, let's see if I pick him up. Ah, there he is on my shoulder. So let's go through, and I'll take my shortcut through the nether back to my base. Let's see. And I want to go this way. Yeah. Maybe I should make more clear signs. But yeah, this is the right way. If you're watching, leave me a comment saying what you think of the uh, nether tunnel. I like it. I am tired of not having an elytra. Which is why I plan to go to the end today. I need to make my way to an end city and get an elytra. And we're just going to see how this goes today. It's a work in progress. And I am home. And now I can leave the bird here. And let him fly around. Where'd he go? There he is. And once he lands, I will make him stay. There we go. And he'll stay there. So now, I want to collect some more things that will be useful. More importantly, I want to put some things away. Like, for example, I put most things in the ender chest. I have two ender chests in the ender chest. I want to make sure I have one to carry around. And I have something I got from running around the, the nether. And that is a hoglin head. And that's sufficiently ugly. So now I'm going to gather up some more things and then I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm ready. Let's make our way to the nether. From here we follow through and make our way to the nether hub of sorts. It's the closest thing that we have to a nether hub. Let's move this right along. And I will, this is the portal to my other base, but I'm going to go through it so that I can get to uh, the nether hub where I can actually go upward and get to the roof of the nether. From the roof, Lord Knight made a highway of sorts to get around. Well, that takes us to one end portal. And that's just boats. Which I guess I will try to use to get where I'm going. And here we go. Much better traveling that way. And of course I fall off. Let's try this again. Put this back on and zip to our destination. Cool. Now when we go through here, we should be at the entrance to um, the end. Set my spawn point. Check to make sure I've got what I want then we can hop on through. Uh, 
And here we are. We are in the end. Luckily, the dragon has already been killed. So that shouldn't be an issue. And I am going to head south. So, and go to the farthest south that I can get to. So I will travel along that route and we will see how that goes. And, and here we are back at my base. I decided I really wanted a bucket of water. So I'm going to get that and then I'm going to head back to the end. We'll just fill these buckets up and then I will be good to go. And we're back at the end portal. I've got some lights. I think I've got everything that I want. I want to test the little theory. It didn't duplicate them, so I'm doing something wrong. It must only work on objects that can fall like gravel or sand. But anyway, I am now going to make my way over to the portal so I can get out to the outer part of the end and get to an end city. Which again, I'm going to do by heading south. Right now, my compass that I had on my screen is not working. Got to fix that too. So now all I have to do is take an ender pearl and carefully throw it through here. There we go. And that drops me out here in the outer area of the end. I do not like this. This is precarious as hell. Let me get down. And I believe I set off this way the last time I was here because this direction was south. And I'm going to keep going south until I find something useful. Okay, that was sort of the right way. See, I added a way to get back up. Now I'm going to move on. I'm going to make a pointer so I know which way I went or in some cases which way I have to come back. So it's going to point that way. We'll just make it that simple. Point that way. And let's go ahead and head out. I'm speeding this up by four. And let's verify which direction I'm going. Yes, I am facing south. So that confirms the direction. Again, 4x speed. And I'm going to build some more of these markers. The markers are important because I want to be able to navigate it's much easier if I leave a marker. And the 4x speed is obviously because it takes a while to walk along here. Now this, I think I built this before, but I'm not going to go on something so narrow. Either I did or the person that was with me built it. 
but it needs to be thicker. Because it's no fun to try and run on one of these if you're in a hurry and you really don't want to fall off. So look at the view. Well, we'll continue onward. Don't look at an Enderman, because then they attack you. And off we go. Get our bearings. Let's press F3 to verify our direction one more time. And then we are off to the races. And yeah, I'm not going on that without widening it. So I won't even slow it down. You get the idea, this is not exactly fun. I'm flying, standing over the void. But at least this way, it will be a least little wider and easier to traverse. And then I'm gonna stop here and make a pointer so that I can continue southward. In fact, I'm using up all of my stone blocks so I think I'm going to just take a moment and gather some some uh, I don't even know what it's called end stone and this is going to take a little while so I'm going to speed this up as well I am not sure how far away I am from my portal that I need to get back but I've come a good ways I'm going to continue to gather these end stone so that I have both that and the stonework there's another marker and here we have a large gap So I do it too wide? Nah. I'll just do it one wide until I get there. That looks really scary. Okay, that gives me... I'm going to put some of this stuff in a chest. Maybe not a chest, but I don't want to die over the void and lose everything I have right now. So I'm going to put these things into the ender chest like I probably should have before now. And then I can move on. Don't need the rockets right now. I think I'll leave everything else. Carefully put this away. And then I can go back to building this out. And I will come back to you with an update in a bit. And we're back. And it's been approximately 40 minutes. And we are at an end city. Which to me is just awesome. Now I want to get some shulkers. I see. I see them. And there they go. They are shooting at me. And here I go floating away. So this should be interesting. I made it an advancement. 
Let's get over here so that I can not die. And that's a trick that I learned. If you eat a chorus fruit, it will teleport you back down to the ground. Which is really a neat trick. So you just have to have some chorus fruit on you. I have 13. And then I'll have to get some more. Can we please take this moment to subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. I'm going to call this the end of this video and you will just have to come back next time to see what happens. And as always, thank you for watching and goodbye.